You may not know this, but we are within days of what may turn out to be a historic moment in the battle against Alzheimer's, or not. For anyone concerned about the threat of Alzheimer's, which is all of us, D-Day is June 7th. That is the day the FDA is expected to decide whether it will give approval for the first new Alzheimer's drug in nearly two decades. Today, I want you to hear from someone who is really hoping the answer is yes. His name is Jeff Borgoff, and he has a message that I think anyone with cognitive impairment really ought to hear. Hi, I'm Tony Daring of GoCogno.com, the website for people with mild cognitive impairment. Jeff Borgoff, my guest today, lives in Forked River, New Jersey, and I interviewed him recently for an article I did on a controversial Alzheimer's drug that Biogen and its supporters are lobbying the FDA to approve. If you're interested in reading that, there's a link below. Jeff has been taking this drug for several years, and he's quoted generously in the story. But I thought, man, he is so passionate and articulate and well-spoken on this issue, people really deserve to hear directly from him. So today, I'm sharing outtakes from that interview. Here's Jeff. I was, uh, I'm 57 now. Thank I, you. I was diagnosed uh, at the age of 51. Mm -hmm. And, and um, a year, probably a year and a half prior to that, I had been showing symptoms of, um, that are normally associate, associated with what we call um, MCI, uh, which is mild cognitive impairment. You know, when I was uh, 50, 51, uh, I, I, I was kind of assuming that, uh, you know, given that, that that threshold in age, that, you know, these these are the type of things that be begin to happen. But, mm -hmm. you know, later you have to find out that, indeed, no, that is not the case. There was certainly something wrong. Subsequently, the follow-up was uh, for us to meet with um, the head of neurology at Columbia Medical uh, Columbia uh, uh, Neuroscience, and um, at that point, she had said that um, what I see is Alzheimer's, or, or, or at the very least, a, a, a type of dementia. And so, and, and so, from that point, uh, they they started they they kind of got down to the nitty gritty and started testing, um, doing uh, neuropsychological exams, um, uh, 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 more advanced. Um, uh, cognitive exams. And then also, uh, I did, uh, I had what was called a spinal tap. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they were looking for what's called the beta amyloid, uh, protein, which is a toxic byproduct of the disease. Mm -hmm. And so, so they, they found, they found traces of that. And, uh, from there, um, uh, at that point sh she, uh, Dr. Karen Bell from the Columbia medical center said that, you know, this is definitely a, this is definitely, uh, also it's definitely a dementia because it, it wasn't very, we, the, she couldn't put a, put a, um, uh, Alzheimer's label on it yet because I hadn't had what's called the, uh, beta amyloid, uh, PET scan. Right. And so, uh, what, uh, what I had done at that point was I got myself into a clinical trial with, uh, Dr. Sharma. And uh, they gave me the beta amyloid PET scan, and and, right. and indeed they they did find the Alzheimer's plaque in my brain. Mm -hmm. So so from that point forward, uh, uh, now um, I have been participating in the uh, the Biogen uh, uh, aducanumab uh, clinical trial, mm -hmm. and and um, from all intent and purposes, uh, it's for, for, for myself and my family, it's been a success. I think statistically speaking, when a person like myself gets, uh, is diagnosed with, uh, with Alzheimer's at this age, the, the uh, trajectory is rather quick. Um, however, um, I am still functioning cognitively, cognitively very well. And, okay. um, 
uh, a matter of fact, my, some of my scores have actually increased over the years. Um, and, and so I attribute that to, you know, a, a, a lifestyle change, of course, that that's, that's uh, necessary. Um, uh, uh, Diff, a different way of living, but 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 most certainly, uh, I I think it's because of the um, medication that I'm on. So when you were initially in the trial, you would have not known, right, whether you were getting the drug or the placebo. No, I I would not have known. Um, however, because they ended it, right, it, it, it's, they basically officially ended it. They had no idea it was going to come back. Uh, right. They were able to tell me at that time, um, and I was uh, I, I I had found out that I was was indeed on the drug the entire time. Right, and now I, I I'm assuming I don't know all of it, but I, I'm assuming the current trial is open label, and you're just you know you're getting it now. Yes, right? I, yes, I am on the largest dosage uh, um, open label. Yeah, so it's what uh, it's a uh, ten milligrams per kilogram body weight that's how they uh that's how they measure it right okay and um so you were on the low dose before you're on the higher dose now are you discerning any difference in how you're doing on the higher dose uh i felt that i was doing better all along uh however now that uh, now with the with the higher dosage uh and statistically and, and uh, you know, data driven showing that the, the higher dosage uh, has the better results. Um, I, I can certainly tell you that um, it, it, I feel good. There are other underlying uh, symptoms of the disease that, that aducanumab uh, I, I can't address, mm -hmm. um, uh, un unfortunately. And, and, and the other part of it too is where the plaque was in in my brain uh, uh -huh. I, I i still have some brain damage because of it uh -huh. um so um but uh um i think uh uh some of the other underlying symptoms uh that were there are are there i'll have to live with those uh -huh. um which is perfectly fine um uh but the but the 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 goal of the drug and what what and its intent is really what I'm concerned about is mm -hmm. is is to slow the uh, progression uh, of the disease. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that it's not a cure, mm -hmm. um, but its its intent is to slow the progression of the buildup of the the uh, the plaque. And uh, also, um, I'm I am to understand that it's also meant to remove existing plaque that's there. Um, so the, uh, and in that and the and the result of that is to maintain a level of uh, cognition, uh, multitasking ability and uh, executive functions that uh, that I have remaining. And uh, so far, uh, that's that's what we what we we're, that's what we're living with. And when I say we, because, you know, a person who has Alzheimer's, uh, you know, everyone in the family has Alzheimer's because we're all right. living. We're all living with it. You know, we're all living with the fallout, the symptoms of it. And um, and so uh, so what my family has seen is is, uh, is ha, ha, we've, it's been very promising. Yeah. So, so and, and I talked with Dr. Sharma quite a bit about this yesterday, um, but just even simply slowing it down. Uh, mm -hmm. is a win. You know, I mean, we want to cure this thing someday, but talk to me about what it has meant to you just to feel like you're slowing it down. My daughter got married in September. Uh, my middle daughter. I, 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 we did not think I was going to make it. So for me, seeing my daughter get married, uh, my middle daughter get married, uh, has been, uh, that was, uh, you know, obviously it's a, a, the highlight of your life, but also it's, um, it's, uh, you know, certainly it's knowing that you have a, a terminal brain disease and you're on a medication, a, a, a trial medication that gives you the, gave me the opportunity, uh, to be there and be present 
mm-hmm. and be cognitively pleasant and dance and 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 have mm-hmm. a good time you know that those you, you know it's like it, those are the things that we put the label priceless on mm-hmm. and, and uh I'm, and I'm so grateful for that you know personal anecdotes and uh um, opinions and, and feelings that I have about the medication mm-hmm. aren't, aren't th- th- those aren't science driven. However, I think they, I, I, I believe that they are, they, they can be part of the, the part of the puzzle, yeah. I- I- if you will, or part of the, the overall picture with regard yeah. to this, uh, the approval of this medication. And I, and I don't believe it was in, in November, I don't believe, uh, that it was, that was really looked at as closely as it probably should have been. And I'm glad the FDA met with us. And I'm hoping that the takeaway from this was, uh, from, from Biogen and the FDA was, okay, advisors, I, we hear what you're saying. We're going to do our diligence, and when we meet in June, there there should be there should be no uh, um, uh, there should be no obstacles at this point. Um, you, you know, uh, one of the things that we need more than anything mm-hmm. um, is some hope. You know, mm-hmm. we need we need the hope. We need the hope. Yeah. So this has been a great conversation. I appreciate how open you've been, Mm -hmm. uh, respect how you've educated yourself. I respect your advocacy. Is there anything I didn't think to ask you? I mean, is there anything you wanted to talk about or anything you would want the public to think about as we approach this uh, important juncture in the battle against Alzheimer's? Uh, One of my most important things uh, that I like to do is I like to remind people that Alzheimer's is not a Alzheimer's or dementia. Uh, the, none of those disease, none of those diseases are contagious. And we also must, uh, look at these diseases, uh, uh, specifically, uh, Alzheimer's that my, my disease, uh, as, uh, something that, um, we shouldn't be ashamed of. Uh, I was, um, it, it's, uh, there's, uh, I'm not pointing fingers at anything or anybody for the reason why I have this disease. I have it. I'm going to work through it. And I just, I, I always talking openly and, uh, uh, educating people on the disease. Um, uh, very often I get people, come, uh, talk to me and say, and I say, I have, uh, uh, and, and we'll be talking about, uh, Alzheimer's or something. And, uh, and they'll be talking about their grand father or mother or something mm-hmm. like that. They have Alzheimer's and yeah. they say, you know, and you say I, I have, and I, then I'll say, yeah, I understand I have Alzheimer's disease. And that just blows them away mm-hmm. because it, it's, I, I'm not, I'm not the typical fa- face of like, the Alzheimer's disease or dementia that people are ca- kind of baked in their brain uh, w- with regard to, you know, their senior parent living in uh, 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 the, you know, an assisted living or something like that. But uh, 200,000 uh, uh, or more people in America, like myself, have the younger onset early stage Alzheimer's disease. And so basically, you know, I am the face of younger onset uh, Alzheimer's disease. And I let people know that, you know, we, you know, it, there, there's no shame attached to this. And pe- everyone should be accepting of the disease uh, uh, of the disease and work with uh, work with the, their family members and become more educated about the disease. You know, every, everyone with a brain uh, is, uh, um, in, or anyone with a brain, <laughs> everyone, mm-hmm. <laughs> which, mm-hmm. means everyone which means everyone, is, uh, it, it, there's a potential of, of uh, a dementia in their lives. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, I think it's one out of six people um, uh, will, will uh, have a dementia or all, Alzheimer's disease. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's something everyone should be concerned about. Uh, just like cancer or diabetes uh, or right. anything like that. So, uh, and that's and so what I try to do is I try to educate 
uh, people uh, about the disease and 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 remove the stigmas attached to it uh, in, in our in our society. Yeah.